Tell me more about your mother. She was a drinker. Um, she drove around all day and I for a job, and I wasn't allowed to go out until she got home, but when she got home, it was dark. What exactly did she do? She was a delivery driver. Do you know why she drank? Is this whole session going to be about mom? I mean, what do you even do here? I do many things. Yeah, well, don't give up on your day job. Do you want her name too? It's Diane Lisa Bivens. Okay, you want to jot that down? I'm only asking so I can get a better understanding of your unique situation from your childhood. I don't know. She was struggling to raise a child. All my clothes were older. All my meals were, you know, stuff the customer sent back. I didn't know what I was going to get, just to be grateful. The food had already been opened. Yeah. Did you ever question that? I was nine and I was starving. You know, I didn't question any of it until, well, until I started getting sick. How exactly did that start? Um, well, it first started when I was in school. It was around Halloween, so we were watching a movie. And, you know, I wasn't really paying attention because all I could think of was what I wanted to be for Halloween that year. And what was that? <sighs> I was um, an astronaut. You know, I'd always dreamt of flying to the, the moon and then to the sun. And, you know, but that Halloween was different. I first started having trouble breathing. Started coughing up blood and, and, and mucus and bile and, you know, anything my body would produce. They, you know, at first, they thought it was allergies, like dust or, or pollen, but when they found out about mom's feeding habits, well, they started to suggest that it maybe was something in the food. Like another allergy? Yeah. It didn't take long for the doctors to figure out that it was something big. I mean, it felt like it was just moving around inside me. Like, it, it, like they, they started to think that it was something growing in my lungs, like a fungus, but it, I felt like it was just bursting out of my, my legs, my, my skin, my face. I was a freak. You know, I thought I was alone in the house before, but I would just stay in my room and there, there wasn't a lot of light that got in there. They suspected the light contributed to it. Yeah, like a plant that needs the sun. Everything needs the sun. Yeah. Anyway, the doctors couldn't figure it out. Halloween had passed, and Mom decided to go down the route that she originally wanted to, and that was an exorcism. I can feel whatever it was moving around inside me, and I, 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 I can feel the, the priest's hands and, and, the, and the pressure, and, well, it was like, it was like I could, I could, I could feel them both just screaming and, and lurching and just fighting against each other and just tearing my insides apart. I can imagine that felt similar to when you were trapped inside that house. Close. This time, I wasn't gonna take it. I, I, I ran. And as I ran down those church aisles, I was floating like an astronaut. And above the, the candles, the priest, mom, 
and like bursting through those church doors. Like it was like I was feeling the sun for the first time. And I see the colors of the trees and the birds singing. But it wasn't the birds singing, was it? No. No, it was the sound of my breathing. Whatever was inside of you flourished in the sunlight. You were struggling to even stand. And then before anyone inside could catch up with you. I didn't stop breathing. I didn't make it. No. No, you didn't. What is this? You have been here for a long, long time. That thing inside you, it made you believe that you'd age 29 years, but in reality, you haven't moved since that moment. How many times have I told that story? How many times? You said that you can feel that thing moving around inside of you, but you can't see it. Well, it's okay. The ones who did all of this, they didn't know any better. I'm going to need you to take a few deep breaths because you can breathe here. And we don't have much time. Time? For you to tell your story again. Come on, please wait. I'm sorry, but it's all that you and I have.